That's marvellous, ladies. I want you, but well, I thank you all uh, for coming here today to celebrate Harry and Jeff's special day. Okay. But before I get into this, can I just say just how beautiful what my daughter looks oh, yeah. today? Yeah. I'm sure that you all agree. Yes. Yay! Jacob. Yay. Jacob, you've done a good job as well. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> so, right, let's get into this. So, from the moment Haley was born, she's had me wrapped around that finger. <laughs> she always will do, well, to be fair. Uh, Haley's grown up, uh, wants to be strong and driven young lady and has achieved so much uh, already. She's shown us just how strong she is, especially these last 12 months, with how she's dealt with the tricky pregnancy and I mean it's constantly being sick. Every day they're just vomiting and vomiting. And then, you know, also at the start of our Roman's life, the trickiness that he had, and both of them, well, to be fair, not just here with Jeff, but as well, they've shown us just both of them just how strong that they really are, and I really admire you both for both of that. Uh, but our Roman is asleep now, but he's the most happiest chappy ever, you know, and he's so well behaved. Uh, but however, Haley was very much just like our Roman. I know I side of the family what we know that anyway, but she was a good baby as well. Uh, but there's just an age where Haley reached to, woke up and I thought, what's happened to her? <laughs> what has happened to her? She had a voice like Mary Simpson, <laughs> and she was a sassy little madden, hand on hip, hand out, like, I'm not talking to Dad. <laughs> you know, uh, and to be fair, she has continued to be just like that <laughs> to this day. But I always joke and say that if I were here, what had come first, I know Tommy, where he's put, he would not be here. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be in the nicest possible way because the girls, wow, I take a lot any day. <laughs> but I'm only joking, joking aside, you know. I wouldn't have her any, any other way, you know. Uh, she brightens up our world with her silly statements. I'll just went to the time of Brexit. When we left Brexit, she thought our country was getting moved. <laughs> uh, it is true, she thought it was moving. But here we just talking about the European Union, the country staying where it is. She thought it was off and off. <laughs> Another was when uh, that she'd been out in the town with her friends. I don't know whether Charlotte was there then or not, I'm not sure, but uh, she'd come home, she had a bit too many, you know. And uh, she decided she was hungry. Yeah and she wanted to cook some spaghetti in the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No, probably that. And I honestly don't know who she takes after. If she if Hayley didn't look so much like me, I would have sworn Hayley was the milkman's. <laughs> anyway, but I was going to bit how these two met. Bill and Jake have met at Nicole's 16th birthday party. Has, has, uh, uh, she remembers Hayley uh, showing her Jacob's profile picture and saying that he liked her. Cal said that Jacob looked cute. And a good thing that he supported Liverpool. Couldn't have been a man cute. Not happy. <laughs> I mean, they were strict rules, you can't bring them out. <laughs> anyway, uh, but at that time Hayley wasn't really interested, he was just friends, you know. Uh, say friends. So fast forward, <laughs> fast forward about a few years to the back end of probably 2018, I think. Uh, Hayley and Jacob got back in contact with each other. And I can remember listening to Hayley laughing whilst it was one first time with Jacob. Uh, and it was at that point Kaz told Hayley that she would end up marrying him. And you know, I suppose that my wife's always right. However, Jacob's charm, or his one shoulder dance, Jacob and James, you've got to show us this, come on, lads. I'm serious, they've got this dance, he goes on all the time, and it's the worst dance I've seen in my life. Convinced the pervert that he pulls a ladies. Come on, lads. Come on, come on. Come on. Have a little for these. I'm going to show you up here, James. It's this one shoulder thing they do, and it's embarrassing. They're convinced it pulls a ladies. James taught me this, and I'm telling you now, I'm <laughs> 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 
Downs. <laughs> Very noble. Jacob Downson, you know, what his charm, it, it paid off, you know. And the rest is history of what all the men have been married now, and you know, it did. It is what it is with it now. So, advice, we can give you any, okay? Not on marriage, just speak uh, what to each other. It helps, yeah? Listen what's on them, don't just talk what's on them, listen what's what you're saying. Make time to be put together, the two of you. There's enough people in this room that can. Best bit, bit of advice that I can give to you, Jacob, is just remember this. Your wife is always right. Happy wife, happy wife. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so I just want to finish by saying how extremely proud me and your mum, and obviously your brother, are a lot of you. Yeah, uh, you're doing superb, you're building money. Keep it up, you're doing brilliant, okay? Uh, and we want to wish you a long and happy life uh, together. So today marks two families coming together. So Jacob, welcome to the family. I hope you know that, uh, but you let yourself in fairness. <laughs> 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 we love you, Craig. <laughs> so anyway, just before I to finish this, it's, this is not one for me, I'm not one for off speaking, but just at the back of the wall there. We've got Kevin, which is Hilly's granddad, and we've got my nanny, it's just a memorial. Just, you know, just take a minute to remember those people that shouldn't be here, that can't be here. I think it's important to everybody, put in the room for those people. You know, it's, you know, they're always with us. Yeah? So, could you all please stand? And if you could please give your attention to most certainly one of the most handsome grooms we've ever seen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're groomed! You missed that heavyweight champion of the world, but I'll let you off the I didn't like it in my As people know, we attend the Roman's christening, I'm not so good speaking in crowds, so I might dit and but but just bear with me here. Yeah? Uh, thank you all for joining me and Hayley on our special day. Having each and every one of you at our wedding has made it even more special. And it just shows how lucky we are to have the best family and friends supporting us. I have some individual thank yous I would like to say, starting with my best man James, my ginger brother from another mother. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for putting up with me grafting our ales. I know in some cases it was painful to watch, but hey ho, I got there in the end. In fact, without James, I think my nearly stuck with the story would be completely different. Not many people know this, like Jay said. James taught me the deadliest love dance we've known to mankind on one shoulder. It worked so well that on our first night out with Hayley, she was chewing on my neck and the time. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thanks for being the brother I always needed. And I mean that, yeah. Swiftly onto the in-laws, Twin Diesel and Kazza. Thank you for accepting me into your beautiful family. And I mean this. Uh, and, letting, and also letting me take your daughter's hand in marriage. From the day I asked Hayley to be my girlfriend, you made your home mine and helped me and Hayley become the couple we are uh, couple we are today. Your relationship is something to be proud of. Over 20 years together, I know it's probably a little bit more than that. Uh, two children, happily married, a welcoming home, a gorgeous grandson Roman, and a yappy dog. Oh, uh, sorry, yap, uh, a happy dog. <laughs> uh, you have both gone above and beyond for us and we can't thank you enough. You have, you have both helped with the planning of the wedding. Sorry, did I say planning? I'm paying. <laughs> Frank of Jay and Kaz is definitely closed after this one. Definitely right. Sure yeah, but, to help. Back to the planning. I'd like to say a special thank you to the mother-in-law, Carolyn, or Kaz as I like to call her, for stepping in for me whilst I've been at work, Monday to Friday, down in Chester. I've not been able to help out much with the, with the planning of the wedding, and you've stepped in and done a good job, but if I do say this all myself, uh, without your help, I do think we would have. I, I do think we would. I don't think we would have half the wedding we would have today. So thank you once again. I'd also like to say a thank you to my beautiful mum. You look stunning today. 
Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank you for raising me into the charming, handsome, polite, smoking hot. Sorry I could be here all day, but let's go on. <sighs> Mum, thank you for always putting me first. I have a bad habit of thinking I have nothing, but the older I get, the more I learn how much I actually had. You gave me everything I ever needed and wanted, and I will never be able to repay you for that. <sighs> everything you have ever worked for in life and have achieved, uh, and, ex and you have excelled in it more than anyone expected. And I think, personally, it's inspiring. I'm proud to call you my mum, also thank and also thank you for keeping Bank of Cherry open. Myself and Hayley can't thank you enough for the luxuries you've paid for on this wedding. <laughs> now then, Finchy Boy, over to you. Dad, I'd personally like to thank you for being, uh, being there for me in every instance. You have always been there with your open ears whenever times get tough. And, the per and you're the best person to vent to if I do say so. I'd also like to thank you for making me the most adventurous lad out there. We have done, we have done so many things together, such as free diving, cliff jumping, fishing, freshwater swimming, and it scares me to say spear fishing. <laughs> I've been in the army for over five years, and the closest I've come to taking another man's life was in Wales, where I almost shot my dad in the head with a spear. <laughs> Safe to say that's my first and last time going spear fishing. I tell you. But yeah, I can't wait to take Stainforth. Uh, can't wait to take Ron to Stainforth and relive some of the memories that we did. Now, on to my brothers, the groomsmen, Liam. The first, day, the first day we met in college, I knew you would be a brother. That much of a brother, in fact, we have a matching tattoo. In Roman, in Roman numerals, we have 753, meaning seven virtues of a warrior, five keys to health and three states to mind. You might ask, what does that mean to us? But we don't actually know it, just we thought it'd look cool. <laughs> Swiftly on to Henry, another brother. I remember our first day at work and everyone was raving and claiming that there's someone actually bigger than me and there you was all stood all six foot six of you. I've never seen a man handle a GPMG like this man and I'm proud to serve with you. Uh, in work and in CB Street we have class memories. Thank you for being a top bloke. Tommy, I can now call you my brother. So cheers, hey. mate. Hey. <laughs> I need that man getting drugs. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you for being the best uncle to Roman. Your bond with each other is class, and I can't wait to see the, the sneaky tricks you teach him as he gets older. Roman is very lucky to have you as his uncle. <laughs> On to the girls. We have the maid of honour, Jodie, bridesmaids, Nicole, Charlotte and Lauren, and the flower girls, Amaya, Macy and Marissa. Can we raise a toast and show some appreciation on how beautiful they all oh, are today? On behalf of Hayley and I, we would like to thank you for playing such a special part in our wedding. You are the best bunch of girls and we are very lucky to have you all in our lives. And finally, on to Mrs Finch. God damn, you look stunning today. I really am the luckiest man alive. I met Hayley in 2016. And when people say hello at first sight, I now genuinely believe it. I was love struck from the get go, and still to this day, I fall deeper in love with you every time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm take a step back on that one. <laughs> I am so proud of you, whether it's with your business or being the best mummy to Roman. He and I are both so lucky to have you, girls. I have been dreaming of the day I get to come with my wife, and my dream has now become a reality. Miss Finch, I love you with all that I have, and I promise to honour and protect you. Always and forever. <laughs> right, uh, a short thank you to all of the grandparents and friends and family that helped pay for the wedding. We really wouldn't have this day if it went for all of you. And I'd like to give some special bouquets of flowers out to uh, a few of you. Jim, do you want I can't stop drinking if I was you. <laughs> So 
Tony? Would you like to come up and collect these flowers, please? Make sure you walk straight. Got a Julie. Come on, Julie. Where are you? Next, the next bunch of flowers. Yeah. Julie, Julie, you've sometimes got his shots on table. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is Grandma Hacker. Where are you? <laughs> Read yourself a bit. I can speak. I need, I need to have a sip. My mouth's on dry as hell. Can someone hold her? She'll be staggering. <laughs> Easy now, Carol. Well, that Russian's on the air, you're alright. Don't quite care, Tim, if we're too drunk. That's me done. Thank you for all coming. Check, check, one, two. Couple and have somehow made the cutest gift, even though he's asleep. 
I do have to say though, Jacob, just how lucky you are. You leave here today with a wife who is loving and caring. And Haley, how lucky you are as well. You leave here today having gained a lovely dress and a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> I hope you both have a great time in Cyprus. We will all miss you lots. Thanks for this opportunity to be a big part of your day. Now I'd like everyone to raise their glasses, or raise themselves, and miss them, and miss them speak. <laughs> Try all together. Back shot, back shot, back shot. 